evening everyone how are you all doing i hope you've had a great day it has been a very hot one in the southeast of england i think it's like the hottest day on record at the moment i don't know but it felt like it and um, steve and myself went over to greg's and um i managed to get a couple more surprise bags so um my family will be very happy with that but before i let them attack and benefit from our little trip out. Seems like that's the only time me and Steve get of peace and quiet at the moment. With the summer holidays, it seems like we have to go for a drive to get some surprise bags just to have a bit of mummy and daddy time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got some surprise bags. I thought I would record and show you what we've got. Um, itchy head, I will put the price on the screen for you. Um, please ignore the state of me. Like I said, it's been a very hot day, um, very chaotic day. Nathan's been a bit of a been a bit on one today, so warm me out a little bit. But let's get on and show you what we've got from Greg, shall we? I'll do my usual trick and push one to the side and item by item out of this bag. So we'll go here. Uh, I did buy from this Greg's a couple of weeks back, and it was okay not um the best gregs that we've used but um we was near it or we weren't near it we wanted to go that way to go somewhere else so um but we've grabbed some got in a bag and it is a sausage roll you know greg is um known for its sausage roll why is it you can um buy the gregs sausage rolls from iceland and um, you cook them at home, but they just don't quite taste the same as the ones when you buy them already cooked at Greg's. I mean, that looks lovely, and it's all uniformed and all that lot, but um, when I buy the boxes from Iceland and I follow the instructions and I cook them like it says, they never come out like it. And they don't taste exactly like Greg's sausage rolls either. So if anyone can let me know why, I would be very, very grateful. Because we all like Greg's cooked sausage rolls. We have a bag and it has a cream filled, no, a cream iced finger. So we had one of these before and um, it was very, very nice. Very, very nice. But they were a bit stingy with the cream. And it looks like they're very stingy with the cream again because... Again, there's no cream in the bag this time whatsoever. But um, there's no cream in the donut really. You have to kind of open it up and there's a little bit of cream. It smells very nice though. It actually smells a bit boozy. Don't know how we can explain that, but it smells a bit like it's got alcohol in it. Let's not tell the kids that. They're sitting there getting drunk on, on a jam-filled donut. Or cream donut. But yeah, we've got another ice finger. Then we have another cookie. Again, we had this from the other bag. Just, just throw it. There we go. We have a crumbly thrown cookie. So there's a cookie all over my kitchen counter and there's the remainder of the cookie there we go Nathan wasn't very keen on the cookie last time Hayley didn't mind it but Nathan wasn't very keen on it so I can't open my bin there we go crumbs everywhere um I don't believe this I'm just having a quick look in the other bag if this Greg's has like a checklist of what they've got to put in these bloody bags right because these bags are exactly the same as what I've got before I don't think I'll be going back to this one to be truthful yeah they were nice but I do like some variation of things and this is exactly the same as the bag that I've got before Mind you, this, this iced Belgium bun, it's kept all its icing on. It's a bit hard though. 
last week's one was nice and soft this is very hard like quite hard so yeah there's that and then Chloe will be very happy she's got some more yum yums seems like you always get a box of yum yums in the grapes bag and then in this one should we do a guessing act and find out what's going to come out shall we what do you think's in bag number one? Oh, bag number two. Hey, right? yes. Mm. I'm going with a cream-filled finger. Yep. Let me go look. Cream-filled finger. A bit more cream in there this time, but and again that this end, it's like rock hard. Listen. It's, yeah, stale. Not very good at all. Last week's ones were a lot better. I don't think I'll be going to this one again. We're just going to have to go venture out a little bit further and see what else we can pick up. In here, a cookie. A cookie, cookie, cookie. Rip in the bag. There we go. I think I think with this one there's like a checklist of what they put in them. Either that or the Greg staff get to take home what what is left, and then in these bags are what the staff don't like. You know what I mean? And then they're like, yeah, we'll just shove that in the bag. We don't like that. We don't want to take that home. But um, we have another Belgian bun, and again, rock hard, stale. Very hard and stale. Quite disappointed with these bags. Yes, they're right, the, the quantity's there and the value, but the quality is not. And then in here, we've got another sausage roll. So, I suppose at least it's not a vegan sausage roll like last time. No one like that. No one like the vegan sausage roll at all. Got a normal one. So there we go. And then, last but not least, a box of yum yums. So I'm not going to open these up. I'm going to try and keep these fresh for the kids for them for them to have tomorrow morning. But um, I'm guessing the cream filled things are off for the kids and Steve. The Belgian buns. Me and Steve might eat, or I'll see if. See, the thing is, me and Steve eat Belgian buns because the other children, apart from Chloe, don't like raisins. So they're not going to like the raisins in Belgian bun. So. What are my cats doing? Playing with their springs. But we'll see. But um, that is everything that we got from Greg's. Um, the Greg's at the petrol station, shall we say. And... Um, yeah, I don't think we'll be going back there. Last time they were good, this time, mm -mm. So um, I'm going to wrap that up. I'm going to put another heat patch on my back because my back is hurting. I've got a heat patch on there. I need to go have a hot bath. Um, I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Enjoy um, your weekend. And I hope to see you again in my next video. So take care. Bye, guys.